I always knew I was going to make, um, I didn't know what I was going to make or what material, but from an early age I was in the workshop in my dad's pottery and um, I just made little animals when I was 10 or something. I didn't really like school so as soon as I could I went to train for something I could make with my hands. I grew up in the middle of the countryside in France, in the, pretty much in the middle of France in Burgundy. I was surrounded by fields and woods and my dad's workshop and my mum did textiles too. So it was really a, a little bubble of creativity and nature and we didn't have neighbours. There was cows in the fields and it was, it was amazing and more I grew up, more I realised how lucky I was and I realise how nature is amazing and every year I get surprised how amazed I am by seasons changing and things like that. I want people to see the nature in my work. A lot of people have different um, associations with places in nature that I wouldn't often been inspired of but that's what they think of and because it's abstract it, it there's that space for people to connect with it if they know more about coral and go snorkeling on their holidays and that's what it makes them think of I'm happy with that because that's what they love. Um, so I, I use plants and the cycle of nature as an inspiration, but at the end, it's abstract. So it kind of leaves some um, place for the viewer's imagination and the person that will have it in their home and will enjoy it. My process is, uh, has a lot of stages, it's not a straightforward craft, it's, you have to make a wax, make a mould on top, steam the wax out, prepare your mould, put in the kiln, put, it, put the glass in, cast the glass, and then there's a lot of cleaning and grinding the surface, then I put it back in the kiln. I shape it and that takes the less amount of time but it's the most important part. I, I let it happen. It's uh, it's controlled. It's half controlled by me, half controlled with whatever happens and the how the colours are in the glass and how they they've been put in the mould will have importance when I bend it hot because then uh, the colours are move differently so it kind of moves in its the way it wants to move and I just kind of guide it to its final shape it's hot I've got big gloves on that I can't really move my fingers in and I just have to pick it up and do something with it and that's kind of exciting because you can't plan it it's just the mood of the day and yeah, it's, uh, I like it because the first part of the process is so controlled. It's making a mould, the glass is going to just melt in the mould and it's going to make exactly what you wanted it to do. And then this last part is completely, like, it's controlled but uncontrolled. So the 
the thickness, the color, the temperature, the gravity will decide which way it's going and I'm just trying to guide it to a shape that feels right and then also just supporting the weight of it while it's cooling down so it doesn't crack too much so it has to yeah it's all about timing about how it's going to act and then then it's done put it back in the kiln to anneal when you make your own work and you want to make it personal and you're trying and experimenting you have to accept failure over and over until you get somewhere but you do get somewhere as, as long as you never get up, give up. 